to Network Nuts YouTube channel and I am Alok Shivastava. This is going to be a very interesting and a very small video. We will learn how I can explore the container image layers. I am pretty sure you are aware of that, that a layer, a image consists of layers. But if the developer has created the image and has given the image to me, I have no way to find out how many layers it has got and what instructions the developer has or someone who has used the docker file what instructions they have written while creating the docker file i am simply being provided with a layer the image so i'll show you for using the machine i have to wear my specs wonderful so if i give a command here this is my machine with the which is having the docker installed so if i give the command docker images I have these images. I can use the command sudo docker inspect and coffee. Let's say I wanted to check the coffee, coffee version one. So using the inspect command, I am able to see a lot of details about the image. I can see the number of layers. Please try to understand. But I cannot find out what is in the layer, which instructions they have passed in the layer. That is not at all possible with the docker inspect command. But isn't it? You might be interested in knowing that. So it's a time to say thanks to another guy. So we should be saying thanks to a guy or this GitHub repository. GitHub.com Wa good man. So this repository, this guy has created a very interesting tool, dive dive is a is a utility or a tool which allows me to explore my container image so feel free to fork it clone it copy it whatever you wanted to do so all credit goes to him so this is a tool dive which will allow me to do it so all the instructions are mentioned here and i have copied the same instructions on our github repository also you must be aware of github.com network nuts kubernetes in the high value extras i have added this oh where it is where it is where it is docker compose explore docker image use and dive so either just follow these instructions so i it's very easy to install docker need to be installed here first get the package i get it from here copy and paste it here I do need to do a sudo. I'm not logged in as root. Get the package first. Fine. I got the package. It is there. I need to install it. Again, the instructions are mentioned in the original GitHub repository as well as in my Kubernetes. So just do a install. apt command, simple apt command. You are aware of those commands. I give this and this will install the dive utility in my machine. Now I will show you how interesting it, uh, uh, it is and how much capabilities it has given me to explore the layers. So you might be doubtful about a particular layer that what is in this image, what they have uh, given in the layer. So better first use the dive, explore the image. If you are happy, then use it. Otherwise don't use it. So if I check it now, I give a command sudo docker images. So this is an image here which I am doing. So if I give the command here, dive very easy and coffee, coffee version one. That's all. That is all you have to do. Nothing else. Ah, I have to use sudo. Sudo. Check it out, guys. This is really cool. Really cool thing. Use it. Again, not a part of any course or standard curriculum, but these tools are very commonly and often used in the industry or in the production setups that before I use an image, I might be interested in exploring about what the layers are and what instructions they have passed while creating the Docker file. Otherwise, there is no way you can do it. Wow. Check it out, guys. So this is the layers. These are the layers from from layer then they have executed the run command okay got it so in the docker file they have used the run and they have executed this 
and then they have copied a source folder which might be there in the original repository in the var www.html that's interesting this is really cool so i am able to see all this thing so if you can see here this is the copy instruction which they have passed this is the run instruction and this is the from instruction which they have passed so three layers are there and if you press the tab you will be going on to this location this is the detailed section current layer content what is in the current layer so these are the details and these are the layers you can also get the digest the size and all the things so if i check it out i will remove this you can use the tab to explore these so if i use a tab here i press tab here it is so this is it so if i again press the tab i go to the second one run install apache now see here you can see some uh, sections in the green on the right hand side i press tab so these things were modified or created when we have executed the second layer run yum install stdbd so they have installed apache so some icons are getting there see apache.conf all this green will is being done by this layer so you will be able to find out what a image has done what a layer sorry what a layer has done on a particular image so when we have run this yum install stdbd these things were added in this layer and is a part of the image so this is a tool again copy again press the tab tab you will be able to navigate between the sections so this tool is a very handy tool and you might like it i personally think if whenever you are getting any image which is from a non verified source you should use dive to find out what exactly or how exactly they have created the image and you will be able to explore the details of each and every layer which normally there is no way of finding out so i hope you have liked this we can say thanks to the guy who has created this thank you very much i'll see you again soon with these small tips and tricks which will obviously makes you more efficient and as usual we call them high value extras so we normally have a habit of uh, sharing these things during our trainings the uh, trainings that we provide on anything we try to make it as close to the production by sharing these tools thank you very much i'll see you soon take care godspeed jai hind